Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here, and today we're going to dive a little bit deeper into function mapping, what it means, how it works, and how you can use this to help set up your model to run the way you want to. So when it comes to function mapping, what we are doing is we are telling the decoder how to behave when it receives a specific function command. As we've talked about in the past, the DCC signal simply says, turn on F0, turn on F1, turn on F4. Now the decoder goes into the CVs that you've adjusted or the ones that are set by default to determine which functions or which lights to illuminate when you get that command. So for example, by default, when we push the F1, the DCC signal sends an F1 command. The decoder goes into the function mapping and says, okay, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm supposed to turn on the bell. Then it goes into a little bit more and we'll get into more of those details in another video. But once you've told it to turn on the bell with F1, the decoder turns on the bell. Now, with our function mapping, we have actually introduced what's called FlexMap. And FlexMap allows the decoder to use the CV number as the effect, i.e. the whistle, the bell, the air horn, or the uh, uh, injectors, or any of those type of things that we can select. The value of that CV corresponds to the button that now controls it. So going into the decoder, CV 1.298 is what's set up for the bell. Now the value of that CV is 1, and that's what tells the decoder to turn on the bell with F1. So let's try that out. So we're going to unmute this guy. We're going to simply press the F1 key, and you can hear that the bell turns on. I turn off the F1. The decoder is told to turn off F1, and the bell goes away. And that's simply how it works. Now the advantage of using Soundtrack's FlexMap function mapping is that you can assign a button to do more than one thing. A key point in this is, as we've talked about in the past, is the headlight. On our steam decoder, when you turn on the F0 command, it turns on the headlight. But you also hear the sound of the dynamo spool up. So both of those CVs are set to a value of zero. So that way when the F0 is pressed, it turns on the headlight and the dynamo. Now the reason for this is we can go through and assign a button to control more than one effect. So for example, we're going to take three sound effects, the whistle, the bell, and the cylinder cocks, and we're going to turn them all on with F1. Now to do this, we're going to refer to the Steam User's Guide and the Function Mapping section. And we're going to select CV 1.297. So we're going to program CV 32 to a value of 1. And then we're going to program CV 297 to a value of 1 for the 1 key. Now we're also going to turn on the cylinder cocks. Now looking at the Steam Tsunami 2 User's Guide, we see that CV 1.301 is set for the cylinder cocks. So CV32 is already set to 1 for the 1 dot part. Now we're going to set 301 to a value of 1 for the 1 key. Now when I press the F1, you hear the whistle, you hear the bell, and the cylinder cocks all turn on together at the same time. Now where this is going to be really useful is when you're running a diesel locomotive and you have ditch lights that are alternating and flashing and you have the right ditch light wired into FX3, you have the left ditch light wired into FX4. You do not need to individually turn them on with the F24 and the F25 key. You can simply find the CV. In this case, CV 1.259 is set up for the FX3, and 1.260 is for the FX4. Just simply set them to the same CV value, and they will both illuminate together, and this way, when you turn on and blow your horn, they'll now use the hyperlight effect to alternate and flash. Now one of the big keys to remember about our flex map is that when you set a CV to a value, in other words, if you set a function to turn on with a certain key, it will not automatically override what is existing in that condition. And so therefore, you will need to go through and look at the list. So say, going back to our diesel example, if you wanted the F5 to control your ditch lights, that's not going to displace the RPM plus. So you'll need to go in and find the RPM plus CV, which is CV 1.285, and you're going to move it to another function. So you're just simply going to reassign it from a value of 5 to, say, a value of 20, 25, or to take it out of the function mapping list 
set it to a value of 255. Now the other CVs that exist for function mapping are CVs 33 through 46. Now this is what we call the legacy or the old style function mapping. In this case, the CV is assigned to the button, i.e. F0 in the forward direction, F0 in the reverse direction, F1, F2, and so on, all the way up to F12. A combination of the bits turned on and off tell the decoder which sound effects to illuminate or to sound when the, uh, those particular buttons are pressed. Now the key limitation here is not every function is available to activate with F0 forward, F0 reverse, like it is with the flex map function mapping. And so therefore you have to find a limitation and find out what you can compromise with in, that, in those limits. The other thing to keep in mind is when CVs 33 and 46 are set to a non-zero value, they're all defaulted at zero, but when they're set to a non-zero value, they will override the flex map. So the one that is really popular that you'll notice is that the Athern models have F3 enabled for the short horn. So CV37 is set to enable the short horn. If you were to set that to zero, the F3 key will now control the grade crossing sequence, two longs, a short, and a long. So be sure to check out the user's guide for more information and detailed information on how to set this function mapping and you can decide how the function mapping works for you. So be sure to go to soundtracks.com and visit our user's guide for more information on how to set up the flex map function mapping and how to set up your locomotive. You can also check out our prior YouTube videos, including our flex map function mapping and what an indexed CV is when you see a one dot 297 or 2.297.